guys, this is Attorney Prambi and welcome back to my channel. Um, so I would like to share with you the content of Labor Advisory Number no. 6, Series of 2020. Okay. Nag-issue na kasi ang Department of Labor and Employment ng guidelines regarding sa payment ng final pay and issuance ng Certificate of Employment or popularly called COE. Okay. Meron, na, meron namang same guidelines, uh, I mean, merong guidelines back in 2010 na na-issue ang uh, dole pero etong guidelines na to ang latest regarding the uh, COE and final pay. Okay. So, certificate of employment, ito yung certificate coming from the employer na ine-specify or nakalagay doon yung position ng employee, yung date ng kanyang engagement, and yung um, work responsibility or uh, job na ginagawa ng empleyado. Okay. So, isa-certify yan ng management. Iyan yung ating COE. Ngayon, um, ang pwedeng mag-request ng COE ay mga empleyado na connected pa sa kanilang employer or nagtatrabaho pa sa kumpanya or yung mga wala na rin sa kumpanya or outgoing employees na. So, both pwedeng makapag-request ng COE. And under this Labor Advisory 6 2020, um, ang Certificate of Employment shall be issued by the management within 3 days from the time na nag-request ang empleyado. So, within 3 days. Okay? Ngayon, pumunta tayo sa final pay. Yung final pay o yung tinatawag nating back pay, or yung last pay, pare-parehas lang po yan, okay? Um, ito yung sum or amount ng lahat ng monetary benefits or salary na dapat ibigay sa empleyado after ng um, termination ng employment, okay? So, this is whether um, the employee has resigned or sineparate siya ng employer or nag-retire ang employee. Okay? So, ano yung, um, ano yung included doon sa back pay or tinatawag na final pay? Ito yung na-earn na salary ni employee prior doon sa resignation or prior doon sa retirement or prior doon sa separation. Uh, kasama rin dito yung cash conversion ng ating unused na SIL o yung service incentive leave. Okay? So, na-discuss natin sa nakaraang video, um, bakit may mga kumpanyang hindi nakakapagbigay ng SIL? Okay, na-discuss natin yon Balikan nyo na lang sa nakaraang video. So, kasama yon uh, yung unused SIL um, convertible sa cash, kasama yon sa back pay. Meron din yung um, na-discuss natin sa nakaraang video na hindi ka na entitled sa SIL kung ikaw ay nakakapag-avail ng uh, vacation leave or sick leave or other terms na ginagamit ng iyong employer and then convertible din siya into cash. So, kapag ka meron ka ng ganun, um, under the law, kahit wala ng SIL. Okay? Pero dito sa final pay, kung meron kang unused uh, SIL and then sa inyong company policy or sa inyong um, CBA, Collective Bargaining Agreement, Entitled ka pa rin sa uh, um, cash conversion ng VL or SL, kung may company policy na ganun, kasama rin yon sa back pay. Uh, prorated 13th month, and then yung separation pay, kung alin yung applicable, separation pay or retirement pay. And then, or yung kapag ka... Um, 
nag-resign ka lang, so yung unpaid earned salary mo. And then yung income tax, yung excess ng na withheld sa yung taxes. So i-refund yun sa And kung meron kang cash bond under your employment contract na or any kind na deposit na kailangang ibalik sa iyo upon uh, termination of employment kasama yon sa last pay. And other types of compensation na meron sa company policy or sa inyong collective bargaining agreement. All right. Now, kailan um, babayaran itong final pay or kaira, kailan i-release ang back pay? Um, under this Labor Advisory 6 2020, the final pay shall be released within 30 days from the date of separation or termination of employment. Yung termination of employment, ito yung resignation. Okay? Resignation. Unless, sabi ng advisory na to, may mas favorable company policy. So, shortened period than 30 days or dun sa collective bargaining agreement ninyo. Kung mas maiksi yung period to pay, final pay, kesa sa sinasabi ng labor advisory na 30 days, ang masusunod ay yung mas maiksing period under the company policy or your collective bargaining agreement. Now, most employers impose um, policy na I-release natin ang final pay for uh, within 90 days from uh, clearance. Tama? Yes. Most um, most companies have that uh, company policy ngayon. Ibibang sabihin, wala na tayong management prerogative because of this uh, issued labor advisory? Well, hindi po. Um the management is still entitled to impose um, company policies regarding uh, issuance ng final pay. Ngayon, para ma-reconcile yung um, management prerogative natin to create company policies and procedures, dito sa labor advisory, susunod po tayo sa timeline ng Department of Labor and Employment, which is maximum of 30 days. So, we have 30 days to complete our exit uh, exit procedures, clearances, um, turnover para ma-release natin ang final pay sa employee within the 30-day period under the Labor Advisory 6, 2020. Uh, this was issued in January uh, 31, 2020. So, Ayun lamang po. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Attorney Promdi, and like and follow my Facebook page, Attorney Promdi, for more um, legal discussions. I hope you enjoyed watching and please share the videos to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.